Hi, I am Kaya Doki Kyulu. Here is your channel's TV update for April the 15th, 2020. The Niger Center for Disease Control has announced 30 new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total number of confirmed cases in Nigeria to 373. 25 of the new cases are in Lagos, two in the FCT, while Akwaibom, Edo and Kano states each have one case. A total of 99 patients have been discharged, while 11 deaths have been recorded. Meanwhile, over 9,000 contacts of people exposed to COVID-19 are being traced and 12 molecular laboratories activated in less than two months is undoubtedly a huge feat by the Federal Ministry of Health in its efforts to stop the spread of the virus. But the Director General of the NCDC, Chikwe Ekwazu, says logistical challenges and low turnout for testing in most of its recently activated laboratories remain major challenges. He adds that this is limiting the agency's ability to reach its daily testing target. And still on efforts to contain COVID-19, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has read the Riot Act to officers deployed to enforce the lockdown, as well as criminals who may wish to take advantage of the lockdown to harass citizens at home. The police chief insists that officers deployed to enforce the lockdown must carry out their duties professionally. And in Lagos, the state government says it is discharging nine more patients who have recovered from COVID-19, bringing the total number of discharged patients in the state to 70. Governor Babajide Sohulu, who announced this at a briefing, adds that the state government has also embarked on community contact tracing. The state has, however, recorded another death from coronavirus at one of its isolation centers, making it a total of six fatalities. And outside the country, United States President Donald Trump has announced the suspension of U.S. funding to the World Health Organization because he says it had covered up the seriousness of the COVID-19 outbreak in China before it spread around the world. Speaking at a press conference, President Trump said he was instructing his administration to halt funding while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of a coronavirus. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I am Kaido Kikyolu. Thank you for watching.